Young Sartori. Title of her talk, STEM is a culture, not a curriculum. Good afternoon. I'm going to start by telling you my journey in science. Um, as a young girl, I firmly believed I was going to be a scientist. This was an unwavering belief about myself, um, even though my career choices may have changed throughout the years. Um, when I was really young, I was going to be a veterinarian. Spent a lot of long nights nursing some sick gerbils back to health. Um, unfortunately, a lot of those patients didn't make it, so that wasn't really a good career path for me. Later, I was inspired by the really striking images of the Exxon Valdez oil spills and those animals drenched in oil. So I spent an entire summer designing experiments and testing out different ways that I could clean up that oil and help. Later, when I reached college at the University of Washington, I settled on research, cancer research. That was what my career path I wanted to do. Um, so even though my passion for science never wavered, um, as I progressed through my schooling, uh, doubt started to creep in. I looked around, and there were fewer and fewer females in my classes as I progressed. Uh, and that's when I started to question if this was something really for me. Fortunately, I had a lot of anchoring experiences that my family provided for me, such as buying me science experiments, um, sending me to science camp, and lots of hours spent in my dad's AP biology classroom. Um, so it was these anchoring experiences that really supported me when it felt like the system was not. And so now, as an early ad advocate for STEM education and the assistant principal of this amazing STEM elementary school, um, I often get the question, why elementary STEM? Why not just wait until they're later? Why do we need to start when they're so young? Well, research shows that students develop really steadfast identities by middle school. Uh, and if they're not experiencing STEM or computer science until then, they're not going to choose those courses. And the consequences of missing out play out in our demographics, in our local STEM careers, where there are groups of people, women, Blacks, Latinx, that are drastically underrepresented in these career paths. And here at Sartori, we want to interrupt and disrupt those inequitable outcomes for our students. So then I get the question, well, you're just building like an army of coders for the tech companies. No, that's not the case at all. Um, we're trying to inspire and empower our students as problem solvers and advocates to make a positive difference in our community. And it, Perfect example of that is actually this image behind me, which shows our, our group of student leaders. They're called the Bravens, and they meet with our science coach and our counselor. Really interesting combination there. Um, and they design different things around the community that they want to improve. And they recognized that some of our students weren't reporting problems that needed adult support. As one student told me, we don't snitch on our friends here. Great. Um, but they wanted to address this. So they designed these Braven boxes where students could anonymously report problems. Well, they invited the principal and myself in. We gave some feedback, added some additional constraints that they didn't think about. And then they went back and revised their design. And as you can see here, we have two students, two fifth grade girls, who are going around with our final product and teaching the rest of the classes about this product and how to use it and how it's going to impact our school. Now, this isn't a STEM project per se. However, they're using those problem-solving skills and actually went through the entire engineering process without knowing it and have made a positive difference in our community. And this is what we want our students to walk away with. Lastly, the question we also get every single time we talk about a STEM elementary is, well, what curriculum did you use? What kid is it? You know, where did you buy it from? Well, the answer is we don't have a STEM curriculum. We're involved in some really messy and challenging work Luckily, we have a science coach who writes really rigorous and relevant experiences into our days for students and supports teachers with that as well. It's better to give an example. So right now, K through five, the students are wrapping up a sound unit. And so they've had lots of hands-on experiences and great learning, but now they are using our space to identify some sound problems. Well, in elementary school, there's lots of opportunities for that, whether it be the lunchroom, the hallways, the stairwell, plenty of opportunities for students um, to seek out where they can make a difference. So they're identifying the problem, um, designing solutions, and testing those. So at Sartori, STEM is not a kit or a textbook. At Sartori, we are inspiring and empowering our students to see themselves as change makers and problem solvers. And that's why we firmly believe STEM is a culture, 
not a curriculum. Thank you.